Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with more Ruby. This is volume four, chapter three of Runaways and Stowaways. And last time we got a closer look at Weiss and also Ruby's team. And so hopefully we get to check in on Blake and Yang sometime soon. So I'm excited. Let's check it out. Ba -da 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 -da. No. People have been saying turn on CC for happy ending. The bedtime story. No. Hmm. We can do hmm. I'm assuming Ruby will go back to Team Ruby eventually. Does Team Juniper go back to being Team Juniper? They wouldn't need another P. Penny? If she comes back, can she join their team? Blake! This is like an adult outfit. travel by boat on their own it can be quite a lonely voyage but I've found those that do tend to have the more interesting stories hmm Arthur Fist maybe it's just better for some people to be alone <gasps> no that's why she left because she didn't want to hurt her friends more <laughs> maybe but with your paranoia I think a few friendly faces wouldn't hurt who says I'm paranoid <laughs> No one, dear. <laughs> no one. No one. I'll leave you be. Oh. But, uh, fair warning. These trips can be awfully boring. Surprisingly, I think Blake is the most immature out of the four members of Ruby. Hmm. Oh. First, there was a time she didn't know how to rest to take care of herself so that she could take care of others. And now she leaves because she doesn't want to hurt her friends. Oh. Without even telling her friends where she's going, what she's doing. With no end in sight, try as they might. Local huntsmen and huntresses can't seem to get a hold of the situation at Beacon Academy. It's not what she wants to watch. Supported wireless communication within the kingdom. The loss of the CCT tower continues to prevent contact with the outside world. Talks with Atlas officials regarding repairs have so far. The Vale Council voted this week to continue to ban any air traffic that does not have a direct. She's like, where are my Saturday morning cartoons? The council has made it clear that they feel. While no one knows for sure, official tests Adam. confirm that high-ranking White Fang member Adam Torres was present for the attack. Any and all attempts to bring him into custody have been met with brutal force. I'm home! Hey, Dad. Guess what came in today? You're a prosthetic. No? 
Do we know anybody who could do that? Mei Hatsume. Is it? Is it actually? Well? It's for me? For you and you only. She doesn't want it, does she? She doesn't want it. Not yet. Brand new, state-of-the-art Atlas tech. You know, I thought I was gonna have to pull some strings, call in a few favors, but you earned this one all on your own, kiddo. Huh? Before I could even talk to him, General Ironwood already had one of his top scientists working on this. For you. <laughs> he wanted me to tell you that you fought admirably. You should be proud of yourself. She's well, not ready for this yet. You try it on? But it's the I right know. move to show it now. I'm not feeling too great right now. Maybe later? Well, alright. <sighs> There's a show I watched that deals multiple times with prosthetics. And this is a common theme. That they're not typically ready for it right away. <sighs> for a variety of reasons. For her... I don't know, it might be guilt? <laughs> oh. Or PTSD. Ooh. Dad saw that. Yeah, let her, let her. I don't know, I, I feel like most people, most of the time, you should help, but in that moment it felt like leaving her alone would be the best course of action. Imagine having your ears clamped down by a ribbon the entire day though. Doesn't it give her headaches or something? Yeah, someone's watching you. Who's there? Oh. Is it a friend? I have a feeling it's a friend actually. Uh-oh. Go after him. Uh oh. <laughs> Red alert! By the gods. Oh. It has arms, too. Well, what else are you gonna do? We've never seen something this big, but we'll give her a fight nonetheless. Blake's just gonna jump in. Oh, she can use her semblance that way. What weaponry do you have on board? Cannons? Anything? There we go. Don't hit Blake! Fly? Did not realize. Heavy cannon, open fire. Don't miss. And you missed. Uh, hey. 
Whoa! Sun! I thought I saw some yellow hair. <laughs> it's funny because he's hanging and also because he's got a tail. Whoa. My hero. You're not supposed to be here. Yeah? Well, it looks like you can use all the help you can get. Uh, just shut up and fight. <laughs> it dropped him. She's strong. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Starboard defenses are down, sir. We still got the heavy cannon. Aye, but it's moving too fast. We can't land a hit. <laughs> Restrain it. How about the engines? Fully functional, Captain. Well, all right then. We're running. <laughs> oh. Huntsman, if you can clip its wings and draw it out towards the bow, we can take it. I mean, you're the one with the swords. Uh, now or never! Huh. Oh. Nice. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh! He's like, come here, give me a hug! How is she dodging that in midair? Clipped wings! Oh! <laughs> nice. This is the part where you say it. Uh. <laughs> My hero. How is this still moving so well with one of its wings gone? <laughs> uh oh. Huh? Oh, rammed it. Oh, well done. She mad at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I fall. <laughs> Ow. Seriously, it was no big deal. Just enjoy the rest of your trip and everything will be cool. <laughs> we got this. You think they've never seen a fight before? What are you doing here, son? He loves you. Outfit, by the way. Never did like the I am. Son. Jeez. Have you been following me? Uh huh. I saw you run off. The night Beacon Tower fell. Once we landed in Vale, you made sure everyone was okay. And then you just took off without saying anything. I had to. You wouldn't understand. No, I get it. The moment you left, I knew exactly what you were doing. You're going on a one woman rampage against the White Fang! What? You've always felt like the Fang was your fight. They show up, trash your school, hurt your friends. It makes perfect sense. I can't believe you. But there's no way I'm letting you do this alone. It's an honorable approach for sure, but you're gonna need someone watching your back. And that's where I come in. Us Fauna's gotta stick together after all. You're wrong, son. You're so, so wrong. What are you? I'm not going anywhere near the White Fang. Not yet. Not Seriously? yet. I need to sort some things out. Then why not do it with your team? Your friends? You're one to talk. Assuming Neptune's stage and Scarlet aren't hiding below deck. <laughs> you really think I could get Neptune on the ocean? Oh yeah. They flew back to Mistral. I told them I'd catch up. 
Not the first time I left him to take a boat. <laughs> so, if you're not going after the White Fang, where are you going? Home. To Menagerie. Well, I'm coming with you. <laughs> the Grim are getting worse. You saw it yourself. And just because you're not going after the Fang doesn't mean they won't be coming for you. Besides, I'm kind of already on the boat. Fair. Fair. There's really no stopping you. Nope. <laughs> this is going to be great. Never been to Menagerie before. It'll be a regular journey to the east. Menagerie. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Shattered moon. Do you feel it? Don't fight it, girl. It can sense your trepidation. It? You must make it dread you. The bug thing? Heck. That is not a pleasant sound. Cinder, I am going to ask I can't do it. One more time, and I expect a clear answer. Did you kill Ospin? Yes. Doubt. Reinforce our numbers at Beacon. The relic is there. The relic? Ospin's cane? Ugh. Hmm. All right. We haven't seen any fan art at the end of these episodes, these chapters. That's kind of sad, but... All right. Did we start out with Blake, or did we start out with, Ru uh, with Yang? It is odd to see them all separated like this. <laughs> Blake claiming she's not paranoid. Traveling alone. Sun has followed her quite a ways then. Um, without being noticed. Until he exposed himself here because they were fighting that Grim. Hmm. She looks different without her bow. Cuter, I think. Little ears. Ooh. <laughs> ah, sun. Interesting. I forgot the t names of the other two of his team besides Neptune. They mentioned them this episode, but I already forgot. Uh, and then Yang. She's got some PTSD. There are many reasons why people don't necessarily want um, replacement prosthetics. Uh, just prosthetics. Um, but for her... There's PTSD involved. There's... I mean, if she's not over that, I don't know how she can... Because putting that arm back on means that she would have to go out eventually and fight again. And her heart, her mind, might not be ready for that just yet. Uh, I'm glad that there is a prosthetic. Um, I was hoping there would be. Yeah, this is something she's gonna have to struggle with for a while, it seems like. 
It might not be until Volume 5, uh, until they're all back together, until the whole gang's back together. But, um... I don't know. She's gonna have to train a little, because... To catch up with the rest of her team, though. They're still... Oh, Weiss isn't really out there fighting. Ruby and Blake are, though. Um, I'm guessing she, Yang might have some atrophy as well from... Not moving around much, watching TV. Yeah. Father, the father seems to be doing things things right, and um, he needs to talk to her about the PTSD at some point. But I think in that moment she would have been too defensive and not. She's not ready for. I don't know. Somebody needs to go to get her to go to therapy. Honestly, but man. Poor Yang. Alright. Drop the cup. I don't know. What do you guys think? Was it the right move to not mention anything in that moment? It feels like it was, but I can't put my finger on exactly why. Um, someone's always watching. Yeah, I saw the little tinge of yellow hair here, and I was just like, oh. I won. I... I I, I caught on to it, but I didn't guess Sun right away. Should have guessed Sun, because he's the only one who would follow her like this. Um, I did guess it was a friend, because... I don't know. I don't know why, exactly. But yeah. Uh, any enemy, I feel like, would have made a move already. And here's this gigantic Grim. Sun's really... I, li I like this fight a lot, actually. Uh, Sun just jumps in. Off the back of Blake. And, uh... <laughs> that was that moment where he's just like, give me a hug! And she jumps on top of him too, to get even more height. And, uh, attack the wing. It's a dragon, it's a full-on water dragon. It can fly, it can swim. I'm guessing it can walk too, maybe? I didn't see hind legs, did I? But yeah, um... I don't know, maybe no hind legs. Maybe you can fly and swim and that's it. Whew. Look at this block by- oh! Get stepped on. <laughs> uh, Sun is very entertaining. Uh, obviously based off of Sun Wukong. Uh, Sun Wukong. But... Yeah, a decent fight. My hero! And drops. She's strong though, look at that. It's like nothing to her. <laughs> I think I'm guessing people ship them together um, they make a good pair I like their chemistry together he blocked that like it was nothing though which is really impressive she was about to like block it she had no, no way to do it like she had no way to deal with that except for get hit straight on and Sun just I mean, obviously different people have different strengths and weaknesses in this series because of uh, different types of semblances, but and different types of weapons, but uh, yeah, Sun seems pretty pretty powerful. Look at that. Boom! Keep getting height. Give me a hug. Uh, what? And stepped on. <laughs> that means he sent straight down, right? Did he crash into the water? And I don't know how she dodges this as midair. Doesn't even seem like she uses her semblance in any way. But uh, that's impressive. And wing. Oh, she only clipped the webbed part. I thought she like cut off the entire thing. Hee <laughs> dung. <laughs> ah, can't survive that without aura. Oh, I think I saw a little bit of a smile on Blake's face for for a second. Look at that right there. Look at that smile. And then she, and then it's gone when he says, yeah, yeah. Now you say it. You say it. Oh, uh, freaking, freaking son. Uh, very good fight, though. And finished off by that huge, ah, oh, blast by the cannon. And, uh, yahoo, high five. And slap. I gotta see the slap again. Read the tone of the, uh, hi. Uh, uh. 
still love the way this show does comedy. And... Yeah, definitely did not think for a second she was going after the White Fang on her own. Um, she says she's going home. I theorize that she was actually just... Uh, getting away from her friends so that... Because she... I feel like she feels responsible for Yang losing her arm. What? With a reaction like that, he still went on with his theory. Didn't even notice. Is he not good at reading people? Or is he just... I don't know. Is it just play for comedic effect? <sighs> Yeah, I did mention that I do think uh, Blake might be the most immature one, despite not being outwardly um, immature. Like, she doesn't make, like, silly little silly faces and be like... Like, Ruby is the one who's just like, ah, like, cute and, like, bubbly and everything, but Blake just has... I mean, I guess she's in situations where we've seen her um, not be very mature. I mean, these are all teenagers, but... Um, like I mentioned before, she didn't understand that she needs to rest and take care of herself before she can take care of other people, uh, and that she's useless if she can't take care of herself, essentially. And, uh, and uh, yeah, here she leaves on her own journey without even consulting her friends. That's not something you, you do. Um, this floaty thingy seems to be in control. I don't know that she killed Osbin since... It's interesting because we heard people uh, on the hero side saying Osbin is missing. And why would there be doubt that uh, that um, Cinder killed Osbin in the first place if... Osbin is definitely alive is what I'm saying. Because um, they wouldn't just kill him off screen, I don't think. In fact, they never killed off Ruby's mom on screen, so I still think she might still be alive somewhere, but I don't know. Huh. These villains. Guess we'll figure out what their endgame is soon. Uh, they're still obviously going after Maidens, and they're also going after Ruby now with the Silver Eyes, but uh, they want the fall of this world. Don't know for what reason exactly. Hmm. I think Cinder becomes much more interesting now that she's not the big bad and that she's serving uh, a greater villain. But then the greater villain itself, like, I don't know what their goal is, so they're not that interesting now. But uh, yeah, anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. We will be back with Chapter 4 next time. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's already up on Patreon in the early access. I'm going to pause before we go to the next one. Ah, family. Okay, cool. Alright, yeah, uh, leave a like, it really helps out the channel, subscribe, because we're going put, to be putting out these, putting these out every, do I do these Sunday? Yeah, Sunday, so yeah, thanks for watching, see you guys soon.